Hello YouTube, it's Biker Darren one here. I'm going to take you through my everyday carry on me and on my motorbike. First thing is uh, my wallet. In my wallet I've got my driving license, insurance, MOT etc. And I carry First aid guide. I've got another little one picked up as well. I keep inside, inside the zip, inside the zip pocket here, inside the zip pocket here. I carry a Swiss card, which comes in handy, and then on the outside zip here and carry uh, emergency dental filling paste just in case you never know and inside the bag I've got four paracetamol four ibuprofen some strong painkillers Strong panicinus again, and lastly, a couple of spare flints in my lighter. <coughs> so on my most bike key, I've got a luggage tag, and I've taken a paper out. I've used waterproof paper, and I've put my case of emergency information, what I'm allergic to and who to get in contact with if I ever come off and someone finds my key. Handy little thing. Back to my, my keys. I have <coughs> top box key padlock key, a spare fob for the alarm on my bike, and just um, stall cards, paracord fob, small torch, the electrical tape, a telescopic pen, Clippers. Just my everyday keys. I also carry a very same striker rod, I should say. A little um, true utility um, little tool. It's supposed to be able to go on a key, but my keys are too big, so it's just got like a screwdriver, little file. Bottle opener, just keep it on there. A small little knife, in case, <coughs> and I'll just open this pouch up and I'll get back to you. What I have in this little pouch here is I have a resuscitation face shield. Six ibuprofen, a small sewing kit, a couple of tender quicks, safety pin, another spare lighter flint. I've got a little strip of reflective tape. I just keep in there. If I ever come off and I'm 
stuck somewhere I can get it out and hopefully wave it around and someone might be able to see it in the dark you never know a ranger band just to hold the flap down on the front of it and also be used for fire lighting etc and just one large and a couple of small plasters and that just stays on me every day it comes in handy I right, also go through my kit that I have and my work bag I take to work every day it's just a little Nike bag that I found a while ago and in the front pocket I keep Lanyard, spare back box key, spare key for my lock, and a spare ignition key. So if I ever lose any of the keys off of my key ring, I've got a backup spare. It's handy to have. And I also carry a plastic bag at the front, which will have a couple of instant cappuccinos in there. Could work. A pen mobile phone touch stylus in case my hands get wet and cold I can still tap messages one of these um, iGo chargers and these iGo chargers <coughs> Everyone has uh, chargers at work that pull out, so I've got a, one I can just borrow there, plug in, plug in, charge my phone at work. A spare pair of boot laces, just a bit of change. Black bag, a shopping bag. Roll of sellotape, sellotape's always handy. A tubular support bandage for my knee when it if it plays up. <coughs> Excuse me. And some more medications because there's loads of people at work and they get headaches and that and I so I've got some painkillers. I've got a few ibuprofen, some more coal digamol, some paracetamol personal stuff for me and some Sudafed. I've got two bags because these run out before these ones. So I use these ones up first and then I've got a backup that goes in the front pouch. Eight pieces. And then I've got a box that I've made up <coughs> for work. Just little necessities that I use from day to day. A load more painkillers. Ibuprofen and paracetamol. Indigestion tablets. A little strip of those. Some Eurofen melts. No one likes them in the house, so I've just chucked them in there. Just to get them out of the way. Roll of electrical tape, I wash bath, some more cold dryer and some Beecham's cold and flu. In there, I've got a pair of scissors, big elastic band that I found. I thought I'd put it in there, never know, it might come in handy, and a load of plasters. Normal ones and blue plasters because I work in a kitchen. After bite pen for stings and bites, handy thing. A large one. I found that at work, so I chucked it in the box and at the top here. I've got some 
cigarette papers, some filters. I've got a fixing bandage, a few pairs of latex gloves, a few toothpicks. It's nothing worse than eating something at work. When you get something lodged in your teeth, it drives you mad. So just a few of them. Cotton buds, always come in handy. A couple of lighters. A few safety pins. A few uh, feminine products, tampons. They're handy for, well, what they're intended for, or nosebleeds. Handy to have, I'll just keep them in there. Some microboard tape, some elasticated tape, some waterproof tremor pore tape, a bit of moleskin, a couple of corn pads. Manolin pad, gauze swabs, a few grazed plasters, pads in case anyone grazes themselves or burns. Quite handy just to cover over. There's a couple of those, small ones, and a couple of large ones. Future income. And some similar to Steri strips, but they're just cheap shop branded ones. And that all stays in my bag under my workstation. <coughs> and it's handy, it's come in handy so many times at work. I add bits to it when people need something, I haven't got something, I always add bits to it, but that stays with me all the time. Next I'll be going on to my grab bag that stays in my bike and I'll be showing you my foot pump. So stay with me. In the front pocket of my it's hard to see, snug pack response pack I have cheap LED torch. I have a head torch. Latex gloves, a few pairs, about four pairs. Some just double bagged this ibuprofen gel for aches and pains. I'll keep it in there. Small tub of Vaseline lip therapy. A map of Kent. Some waterproof paper. And inside here I have my repair and odds and sods or odds and bits case. It's just a cheap pencil case. Inside I have Sharpie pen with black electrical tape. Spare coin batteries for the headlamp, emergency fire kit, a couple of tampons, a wet fire, and a lighter with a rubber in a tube wrapped on it and held on there with electrical tape. And that's a hairband there to stop it from going off. So that's my emergency fire kit. I have a commando wire saw. Big ballpoint pen with more tape, this time blue. Spare headphones. If I break them while I'm listening to music, I've got a backup pair when I'm riding along, and a couple of pairs of earplugs. This is some um, Stormshore repair patches for the waterproofs. Small roll of 
duct tape, folding scissors, safety pins, brass wire, metal wire and a screwdriver for my glasses and a small sewing kit. That's everything in the front pouch and also a very, very loud whistle. I just keep on there so I can get at it easily. Right, okay, on to the side pocket. These are just reflective armbands. I just keep them on there so if I've got to wear it, it gives me a little bit more of a visibility at night, I should say. I've got a small bottle of hand sanitizer. Visor cleaner, my crush helmet, small can of WD 40 wrapped up, plastic bag, a reflective, like a sash that goes over you, as added visibility if it's really bad weather, used for signaling in emergency, etc handy thing and a cheap Coleman's I believe this is Coleman's multi tool I've had it for years I just keep it in there it's just got the standard screwdrivers etc and the pliers it's in the plastic bag and just just a small carrier bag handy to have and in this one this is stays in my bike all the time. I have <coughs> my prescription sunglasses. So I can change my sunglasses. And just a small can of deodorant. And there. Right, okay. I'll come back to you once I've opened the main compartment. Right, from the main compartment I have pack of tissues, a little Bronson light, different settings on it, that I can hang off something if anything happens, a couple of old spark plugs, they're still usable, so I'll keep them just in case, a little microfiber carry more face towel, spare mobile phone with one spare battery, spare buff, neck tube and a balaclava and now what I have here is a heat patch and a big orange rain poncho. Because knowing my luck, if anything does happen and I do break down, it'd be pouring rain. At least I've got something that I can cover myself over with, give myself a bit more protection. Big roll of cord. It's about 30, 40 feet there, I think. I have some zip ties up in a plastic bag. I have a cargo net, so it puts the shopping and etc on the back of the bike. I've got the owner's, owner's manual, it's come in handy, I've blown light bulbs, I know what bulbs to, to go and get. I've got a small plastic pot here, with fuses for my bike. This is the front brake light switch. I've replaced it, but I've managed to repair this one, so I keep it in there as a spare. Under the screw and under the foam, I have indicator bulb, two backlight bulbs, 
and a number plate light bulb in there. In here, I have like a small medical kit. I have a tube of dinner gel, a toothache, personal medications, a week's worth there, a few cold jargon again, anti diarrhea, a few Puritan allergy, some strong pain reliever, some more sulpidol. Pigment antacids, four of those. Four aspirin. Instructions for the oral gel. And some more paracetamol. And some more ibuprofen. Also, what I carry in my bike is a lock reminder. Is a fold away rucksack and just a shopping bag, and that's everything goes into my back box. Also, I keep a microfiber cloth in the bottom, a large one, so when I put my crush helmet in there, and I've got a cloth, and I also keep another spare one on top. Also, what I've done, I've done a little modification on my back box, I don't know if you can see it that well, I have put a strip of velcro underneath, strong velcro and velcro on there, and I've got an old headband, but uh, I've turned into a top box light, the headlight broke, so what I did, as I clean the plastic off the back, this is really strong Velcro, I've got it off eBay, and I put a length of elastic through as a headband, so I have a back box light and a, another head torch, I believe when it's really dark you can't have enough torches. This one's got a flashing feature on it as well, so it can also be used for emergency as well. And that just velcros in underneath, like so. So I've got a light accessible all the time. That's it. My kit is always evolving. I'm always trying to think of things that I can I can add to it any suggestions leave us a comment also I carry a couple of pairs of contact lenses and one sp and a spare pair of glasses as well. Just standard glasses, they're not prescription sunglasses, just normal glasses. Just in case anything happens to this pair, I've got a spare, and if anything, God forgets that it happens, I've got a backup as well. Because if I can't see, then I can't ride. Okay, and here's my pump, my foot pump. The foot's broken on it, but it's still usable. And I've held it down with a strap and the elastics to hold all the other bits together on it. I've got a digital tire gauge and the air valve remove tool a couple of different little adapters and a spare dust cap and a couple of tire valves so if anything happens to the valves I can take the valves out of one of them and just to cut the cloth to wrap it up and it goes in this bag. That's it. 
And once I get it all sorted out and put it all back together again, I'll show you it all up and put it in my back box. Okay. Right, and that's the back box all packed. Pump there, grab bag, just reminder, my work bag, all in there. 